says we're live. Oh, microphone. Great. What is it with me and this microphone? <laughs> okay. I have a checklist. I have a mental checklist, and I think I remembered everything except the microphone. So let's get that arranged here. What else can I do? Somewhere it has a way to show who's talking. There. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for December 29th. December 29th is the 363rd day of the year in the Gregorian calendar. 364. Fourth in leap years, with two days remaining to the end of the year. Now, let's see. Let's see if I got this right. Yeah. <laughs> that was my big job this morning, was to try to fix that so that, it, uh, that you can actually see it. Success. All right. Today's word is fierce. Fierce is an adjective, and when I looked it up, I was a little surprised at the intensity of definition that I found. I usually think of fierce more in terms of having or expressing a bold confidence or style, sort of an I stand my ground and ball up my fists if I have to. <laughs> but the dictionary gives definitions that are a good bit stronger than that. For example, one definition of fierce is violently hostile or aggressive in temperament, like a fierce tiger or uh, given to fighting or killing or pugnacious like fierce fighters, marked by unrestrained veal and vehement, ve ve I've always had trouble with that word, vehemence, vehemence, unrestrained zeal or vehemence as in a fierce argument furiously active or determined, as in making a fierce effort. Fierce has made its way to us by way of Middle English, Anglo-French before that, Latin before that, where it meant wild or savage. <laughs> First known use of the word fierce is in the 1300s. Fierce. And remember, if you have a word that you'd like us to examine in this Word of the Day segment, be sure and drop it in the comments and we'll take a look at it. And with that, the United States annexed the Republic of Texas and admitted it as the 28th State of the Union on December 29, 1845. Texas is the second largest state of the Union in area and the second most populous state in the Union. Houston is the most populous city in Texas, while it is the fourth largest in the country. The Dallas, Metro, the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex is the largest metro and urban area in the state. Austin is the capital of Texas. The nickname for Texas is the Lone Star State, and Texas' name comes from a Caddo word that means friends. The state bird is the northern mockingbird. State tree is the pecan tree. I'm happy to learn that. I do love me some pecans. <laughs> and um, the state flower is the Texas blue bonnet. That's a variety of lupin. And every year when the... Um, when the blue bonnets bloom, uh, some of the news channels will have viewers pictures that they'll post of the blue bonnets. Other creatures associated with the state of Texas are the armadillo, the Texas longhorn, and the Texas horned lizard. It's a big state. And there's lots more to tell, but the point of all this was to say that Texas became a state on December 29th, 1845. Texas. Yeehaw. All right. What's the next one here? Okay. 
Yeah. And we're going to keep it short today. I certainly have touched on many other topics in previous episodes for December 29th, and I, I think I have included a link to one of those in the description. And... The tornadoes, <laughs> and you might think, oh, she's misspelled tornadoes, but that's the way they spell it. Usually around these parts, when we're talking about more than one tornado, we add an E before the S to make it plural. But this is how they spelled their name as the tornadoes. The tornadoes were an English instrumental group initially assembled in 1961 as a session band for a record producer engineer and songwriter Joe Meek, sort of like an early British version of the Wrecking Crew that we've mentioned a few times before on this channel. Joe Meek was interested in space age and experimental pop music, and he wrote an instrumental piece, and he called it Telstar in 1962, uh, in, in recognition of the Telstar communication satellite that went up about that time. He had this group record it, and the group itself was just a collective of studio musicians, session musicians, and so they didn't really have a name yet, so if you're going to release a record, you have to have a name. <laughs> so here we have the Tornadoes. The song Telstar, as I mentioned, was named after the communication Telstar that had been launched in July of 1962. And the uh, song Telstar was released, the song Telstar was released the following month in August of 1962. It hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100, the UK Singles Chart, and several other charts around the world. We do find Telstar beginning its second week in that number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100. Telstar by the Tornadoes. Link in the description. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me live today. Thanks, Dog Bite. <laughs> um, let's see here. Those of you who are here, and thanks to everyone else who will watch the replay later on. Check out the links in the description. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and give it a like if you enjoyed this video. I seriously do have the very best viewers in the world. And I thank you all so much. We'll be having reruns over the weekend, but I'll be back on Monday, either with a, a live or a replay, I mean, a, um, an edited video. And um, hi, hi, Latasha. There you go. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, we'll be back on Monday, either live or edited, because even though it's New Year's Day on Monday, history, like rust, never sleeps. <laughs> Take care and stay safe this weekend. Stay safe this weekend is going to be crazy when I think. And I look forward to seeing you all next week. Oh, pardon me. <coughs> I've got a little dry spot there. Mm. Sorry about that. <clears throat> and now we look for the thank you very much button. It always wants to make sure I really mean it. Let's see here. Yes, that's correct. Thanks so much. Have a beautiful weekend, and I'll see you on Monday. Oh, thank you, Latasha. That's so sweet. <laughs> All righty. See y'all next time.